It's time. It's time for our beauty room tour. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video. I'm gonna be doing a beauty room tour today. Last night I was in here kind of putting some finishing touches on some of the things that uh, you will see soon. And I was really overwhelmed with gratitude, thinking about how two years ago, exactly this month, well in June two years ago, I started my beauty channel and I had like one little makeup bag and it's just crazy that I used to watch beauty room tours. Never a million years that I think that two years later I would have a dedicated room in my home that is full of makeup and full of equipment and that this would be my full-time job now and so it's just something that I think you guys should keep in mind if you are wanting to become a beauty guru if you're wanting to make makeup tutorials like you have to start somewhere I guess and I am just really excited to show you guys this entire room and I'm so grateful for everything that's in here I'm so grateful that this is my full-time job and I would not be able to have done it without every single one of you guys so just wanted to add that in there. You guys can follow your dreams. If you are like I was two years ago and you love to watch these videos and you're thinking like, oh, wouldn't that be cool to have a full-time job doing makeup? It's totally possible and it happened really fast for me. And I just like, I actually like had a little breakdown yesterday. I cried a little bit just because I was like, I can't believe I have the room that I like always, I'm trying not to cry, but the room that I like always dreamed about having. And so anyway, I'm gonna show you before I like cry here. I'm gonna be showing you my setup. This is where I spend the most of my time, honestly. Again, this is my full-time job. I get a lot of makeup sent to me. Um, this is in no way an average <laughs> makeup collection. I do not want you guys to feel overwhelmed at all. This is just supposed to be fun. And I'm gonna just be showing you guys kind of how I function in this room and everything that I do and how I make my videos and what it all looks like. So hopefully you guys are gonna have fun watching this. I know I personally love watching anyone's makeup storage and collection videos. I just think they're fun to kind of see the behind the scenes of people's videos. By the way, this is just the beauty room tour. I will be doing like makeup collection and storage videos later. This is going to be a full on series. So this is just going to be kind of like the overview. You guys can kind of hear like how it works, kind of how I use the space and all of that. And then I will be going through like the drawers and the organizers in future videos. So it's going to be like a little series. So let's just get right into it. I'm standing in front of the background of all backgrounds. I never change this background because I love it so much. It's actually just a piece of fabric from Joann's and my sweet husband um, put this together with some PVC pipes. It's really not that fancy, you guys. And this is what I've had for a solid year now, right? I think it's been over a year. And so I just, I love it. I love how it looks. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So this is what we do. And then this is the desk that I use to film on. I have two acrylic organizers that just keep things that I use frequently. Um, two softbox lights, the camera and the mic are gone because obviously we are filming on it. Um, and this is where I film. I found this chair at TJ Maxx. And it's my favorite thing ever because this gray blue color is my favorite color fun fact That was like the color of our wedding because I love this color so much So this is where I film obviously and I have all my brushes here I got this at TJ Maxx the other day and I have all my setting sprays and just some lipsticks some random things Lip liners my handy fan you guys know I've been loving that to set my face or to dry off my face after I set it This is a monitor. So if you guys wonder why I sometimes look over to to my right. It's because this is how I know I'm in focus. This is how I know how everything's looking, you know, on camera and I can tell when the camera stops recording and all that. So it's really helpful to have a monitor. Um, it just makes things go much more smoothly. This next station is kind of my PR incoming station. So as you guys know, PR means that, you know, you get sent some makeup from brands, which is an absolute dream. I had no idea that that was gonna be part of my life and I'm so incredibly grateful. So what I do is when I get incoming PR, this is the box that I put things that I have not unboxed yet. You guys know I do unboxings on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. So this is kind of where I put things that I have not yet unboxed. After I've unboxed them, I try to like take the product out and like recycle the boxes that it comes in. and I'll put those products into these bins right here and that just means like these need to find a home I need to try them blah 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 and same with this bin which they're both pretty full I need to really go through and try some of the things so that I can decide uh, what to do with it and then I really just love to display my favorites bare mineral sends gorgeous gorgeous boxes so I love to display some that just look pretty to me I keep all of my dose of colors ones up here as well some other ones that I haven't 
haven't found homes for yet because they just came in last week. So like I have a Bare Minerals one and glosses from M Cosmetics right here. And that's pretty much it. And then under here, I do have more PR boxes that some of them still have product in it that I need to sort through. Others I just like to keep. I actually get rid of quite a few. I try not to hoard too many of these boxes just because they really take up a lot of space. But if there's one that has like a special place in my heart, I keep it. And also like when we move and things like that, there's some boxes that are really helpful actually to help transport my makeup, so I keep those. So another thing that I really believe in are vision boards. Is vision boards? I don't know what the grammar was on that. What's the grammar? So back here you'll see my vision board. I love to dream. I love to put things up there that, you know, help me remember what I need to be working toward every single day. So, you know, I have like a subscriber goal. I like to dream big, okay, you know? What's the saying? Like if you reach for the moon, like what? Like, uh, basically like, you land in the stars or something. I don't know. So I, re I reach big, okay? I love to dream. And the thing is, when I see those things and I visualize them, I'm more likely to work toward those goals every day. And I've actually seen several of them come true in my life in the past year or so. So if you don't have a vision board, make a vision board. I 100% believe in them. And I keep that there for me to see every single day. So this right here is from Ikea, the famous Alex Nine drawers that everybody and their grandma has in their beauty rooms. And um, so this is actually all full of drugstore makeup. You guys know I love to do a lot of drugstore videos and that's just how I personally have found to organize my makeup room. It's really efficient for me. If I'm making a full drugstore video, I know I can come to just this and pick anything from here and it will, you know, work for the video. This thing right here are pretty much like my more high-end things that I really like to kind of display. I have some of my favorites like the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I won't go too in depth because I'm remember that this is just the tour video, not the collection video, so stay tuned for a full tour on that. <laughs> and then over here is the original desk I started out with. If you guys watched my video from last year, this was the desk, the first one that I ever bought. And actually, I think it's in the background of my very first video too. And my makeup used to fit in this drawer and this drawer, like all my products, like hair products, tanning products, like all my products fit in this. And so it's kind of crazy that um, we, we've expanded. <laughs> so this is my desk. I have my really fun 100,000 subscriber plaque. I never thought that I would get that either. It's just incredible. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and making that a reality. Um, I just have some cute little things on display, some Polaroids, um, my palettes on display. Again, I will go in depth with that in the collection video. This is my second Alex drawer that we added this year. <laughs> and this is all of the high-end makeup. So again, it's really helpful for me when um, coming up with videos and just to keep my brain as organized as possible, I keep all my high-end products in here and you guys will um, see that video in a couple days and the drugstore drawers. I will be going through all these and showing you exactly what I have in here and how I organize it. This is where I spend a lot of my time as far as working goes. I sit at this desk in the corner. Fun fact, this was actually my husband Tylan's desk first and um, he picked it up for himself and then, you know, the makeup kept rolling in and I kept buying more makeup and eventually he had to roll out, you know what I mean? So he gave me this desk actually. I should probably clarify that, but he, gave me this desk and so now I have two desks in here. So I use this a lot, obviously my laptop is here, my planner is here, this is where I do a lot of thinking, planning, editing, description box things. The KO polish that um, I will be doing a video on. I know you guys have asked me before, a lot of you guys have asked me to do a nail polish collection video and so I'm going to be doing that as well. Don't look too close because I haven't quite organized that. I really, ideally I'd like to have it color coordinated but haven't gotten there yet. Over here, this is our latest, latest edition because if you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know that um, lipsticks are my jam. Like I love lipsticks so much. I feel like you can keep the same eyeshadow and blush foundation, things like that, but you change your lip color. Girl, changes the whole look. So I have a lot of lip colors. This entire drawer is gonna be dedicated to lip colors. I just got it set up. We, when did we set it up? We set it up yesterday. So it's full of lipsticks, but I have not decluttered them or organized them yet. Right here's my dry erase calendar. It keeps me really organized and lets me kind of be able to spill out any like ideas that I have for videos and kind of, I'm very visual. Like I'm a very visual paper and pen. Like I need a tangible, calendar to write things down to cross things off so i love having a dry erase board that i can kind of plan out all my videos and see them all in one place that helps me stay on top of things um these are just like supplies dry erase markers markers and things like that pens 
that kind of stuff. So this right here is not quite complete yet, but um, it's a work in progress, okay? And I went to Walmart, this is from Walmart, and so are these organizers, and I will be replacing this one with a cream one to match. But uh, I bought the rest of them and they were out. So once those come back in stock, I'm gonna buy more of those. And I actually have more books and things. And I think I wanna add something on top of here to kind of change the height a little bit. Anyway, this is where I keep my seven minute giveaway products. So in here and here, this is, if you guys don't know, on Instagram I do seven minute giveaways. And that means that if you like and comment on a photo or video that I post within the very first seven minutes of me posting it, you will be entered to win some makeup. And that's the pile that I keep for you guys on Instagram for my seven minute giveaways, which I do pretty much every time I post. And you'll know it's a seven minute giveaway if there's a gift emoji. Anyway, you can go on my Instagram and it explains it. I just have some like little bags here of things that I haven't tried yet, some books. <laughs> I like can't decide whether I want to get rid of this or keep it because it's actually one of the first things that I ever bought. I bought it like when I was, gosh, it's this is old. This is like six or seven years old. And it just has been in the background of my beauty room since I started my channel. And so I'm like, like it doesn't really go anymore, but it just it just has meaning to me. So anyway, over here, this is something that I will be organizing more in depth later. But these are my to try bins. So I, I have like to try bins over in PR of like brand new things, but sometimes like things sit in the drawers for a really long time. And I pulled all those things out recently and I wanted to put them in here so that if I'm doing a drugstore video, I can come in here and find drugstore items that I need to try. I need to use Use. and this is the high end to try that's just how I like to organize things again and then there's also some things in here in this bin that I need to try this is a fun mailbox that bare mineral sent as one of their PR things and the products are still in here <laughs> so after I choose a seven minute giveaway winner they contact me give me their shipping address and all that and this is the shipping box so I will usually put um, the makeup in a box or a bag. I'll put their address on the sticky note and I will bring this whole box downstairs to my husband and he does all the shipping for me, which is fantastic. This is my closet. Guys, if you have any closet organization tips, please, please leave them in the comments below. I think I'm like kind of getting the hang on how to organize my makeup, but clothes, no, I need help, so. And I think that's it. Did I miss anything, babe? Well, I mean, there's a lot of makeup in those drawers, so no. you'll have to show them in the next series of videos. Yes, I will again be doing the entire collection and storage videos for all the Alex drawers and the lip collection as well as my nail polish collection. So this is just kind of like the intro. So you guys can kind of get a feel of the space. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes and I hope you enjoyed seeing my beauty room. Again, I'm so, so grateful for every single one of you. Honestly, this would not be a reality for me if it weren't for every single one of you guys. And I just can't believe that this is my full-time job. Like, it's crazy. It's so, so insane. And if you guys have a dream that you have been dreaming about for a really long time, like maybe you should just start. Just start today and see where you will be in two years from now because it's just crazy looking back and seeing how far this channel has come for me in just a short amount of time and it's surreal and it's just crazy and I'm so excited for the future and I can't wait to keep making more videos for you guys and anyways, yeah. I hope you enjoyed seeing my beauty room. So keep your eyes peeled for the rest of the series where I show you guys my actual collection and storage and everything like that. That will be coming up very, very soon. I love you all so much and I will see you all in my next video. Love you, bye.